We are doing everything physically possible to make sure that every animal gets the best chance at a happy life. Perfect. We have lift off. Dog behaviourist Laura is answering a cry for help from the owner of a wayward young cavoodle. This is Ziggy, my beautiful Ziggy. I'm introducing you to him now because we're just about to go for our walk. <laughs> and then you'll be able to see what his behaviour is like. Oh, you need an Oscar for that. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Laura. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, buddy. This must be Ziggy. <laughs> this is Ziggy. This is he. And you must be Dawn. So nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. So glad you could come. It's absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. We've got a bit of work to do. We certainly do, right. Laura. We certainly do. He's beautiful. Love him to bits. But he just goes... He goes mental. All Please, right. come in. Let's head inside and talk. Oh, he's already got my shoelace. <laughs> Before Laura can launch into training, she needs to know more about Ziggy and Dawn's relationship. I had a beautiful little dog. I lost two and a half years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. It took me so long to get over it, and I thought, I think I'm ready for another dog. So these people from Patterson Lakes said, Dawn, we think you might love a little dog that we know. He's left alone all the time on his own. He's left to sleep in the shed at night. Well, my heart broke. Mm. They sent me a photo and said, do you want him? How can you say no? I said, oh, yes. Yeah. And I've had Ziggy ever since. He's got the most beautiful nature. He really does. He's a beautiful little dog. High five. He's spoiled rotten. Mm. I cook meals for him. One week it's steak and vegetables. The next week it's turkey and vegetables, pork vegetables. So I'm living here too now, I'm gonna move in. <laughs> this sounds amazing, Ziggy, you have hit the jackpot. Ziggy is getting spoilt rotten, which is beautiful, but I need to teach Dawn that he can have all these beautiful things, he just needs to learn to work for them. Show me everything that you've taught him since you first met. With introductions over, it's time to warm up. Ziggy, sit. Good boy. She's clearly got a handle on the basics. Now for a bigger challenge. I'm trying to teach him to wait ah. at the bottom of the stairs until I come up. Wait. The crowd holds their breath as Ziggy steps up. Wait. That's a confident first leg. A great landing. Wait. Wait. Oh, no! Dawn's face says it all. He's not doing it properly. He didn't do it properly. What did you want him to do? He usually sits at the bottom of the step, the very bottom step, yeah. waits for me, then I turn around and say, come. OK, so he didn't do what you asked? No. Were you consistent? Ooh. Dawn, you're in trouble. Yes, I am. Do it again. <laughs> With tails between legs, it's back to the bottom of the stairs. But you're the boss, all right? Help him out by being consistent and having higher expectations. Well, for Dawn, anyway. Come on, Ziggy. Quick, come on. Everything that you say to him, you have to mean it. Come on, Ziggy. Wait. No, you wait. I'm having a scratch. Wait. Uh, you know what? Wait. I'm a bit over this waiting lark. Oh, you naughty boy. Did you call him? No. No. OK. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting me into trouble. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Come on, little boy. Good boy. Yeah, but let's go. Yeah. In the mission to teach Ziggy the Cavoodle some impulse control, it's Laura's turn to play mum. OK, wait. Wait. Remind me. Come. Good boy. Okay. Wait. Always very clear in our expectations. 
waits. We remind him. And he has to wait. Nice one. Until I'm, uh, 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 until I'm up here and I'm calling him. Come. Boy, well done. Okay. So all I did differently was I was more assertive, I was very clear, and I was always going to follow through. We're going to do it one more time. Shall I do it again? You are. All right. All right. When you said wait that first time, I listened. It was good. All right. But you've got to get him to listen, not me. Ziggy, wait. 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 Wait, Ziggy. Nice. Okay, yeah. Wait. Hold the food down. Dawn's getting the hang of it. Wait. Wait. Keep communicating with him. Wait, Ziggy. Remind him again, remind him again. Wait. Call him. Come on. Yay, that's a win. Good boy. Good. Good boy. This is the first time I've really seen him focus on you. Having aced the Stairmaster test, Ziggy is graduating to the great outdoors. Okay, let's find somewhere nice, nice and grassy. I think probably now we can start to look at increasing the distractions, which is what he struggles with. The real goal here is for Ziggy to be able to socialise well with other people and other dogs without that crazy lack of impulse control. And then we'll be able to go and have a coffee and Dawn can enjoy her life with this gorgeous dog. I've got a surprise for you. Yes. I've got my beautiful dog Chester in the car. Oh, uh, how lovely. <laughs> I know, he's come for the trip. I thought maybe what we could do is use Chester as the dog that Ziggy's never met before to do yes. a bit of training to yes. help Ziggy and you learn how to manage meeting new people and new dogs. Oh, I'd love that. Chester really is such a great role model. He's calm, he's cooperative, he controls his impulses. He's a real thinker, so he assesses things before he makes a decision on how he's going to behave. And so much of that comes down to the relationship that we have together. And if you have that bond and that relationship, then you can basically achieve anything together. Are you the best boy in the world? Are you the best boy in the world? Yes, you are. But even the best boy in the world has his limits. He's like, that's enough, I'll see you later. Nothing personal, I'm sure, Ziggy. All right, I'm just giving Chester some control because Ziggy's too much for Chester and yes. there's a point which would be understandable that Chester might tell him to sod off. Exactly. You know? This is what I'm saying when I take Ziggy outside. Other dogs either back off and think, what's this crazy dog doing, or they'll snap. Yeah. yeah. Right now he's just very optimistic. He wants to meet dogs, but we don't want him to get told off and then be he becomes incredibly anxious and scared. All right. Brace yourself, Chester. I might walk my beautiful boy past Ziggy. If you need to give Ziggy more distance, you move him away. All right. Your job is to keep him focusing with you. It's just the two of you. It shouldn't matter anything else that's around here. It's about your love story, no one else's, all right? So here's Chester. Get your dog's attention. Ziggy. Move Ziggy. him away if you need to. Ziggy. That's better, get Sit. his attention. Sit, sit, Ziggy. Sit. Reward him. Beautiful. All right, so here you go. We're going to walk past again. Get his attention again. Ziggy. You're in control. Sit. Sit, Ziggy. Well done. Look. That's excellent. Look. Good job. Once you're really confident in the training and relationship with your dog, then you can start to move forward. That's perfect. Well done. Dawn, what do you think he wants from Chester? Does he want to say hello? Just wants to say hello. All right. I think he can say hello as long as you say that that's OK and that that's safe for him. All right. Because the last thing we want is for him to jump and get in the face of a dog that's grumpy and then him get told off. Yes. Ziggy. I'm not giving him a treat now. Yeah, you can come and say hello to him. OK, there we go. So they can say hello. Good. And then when he's had enough, and that's a nice greeting, he's not all over Chester's face. And then take him away and okay, heavily reward boy. him. Well done. That was Sit. like textbook perfection. Sit. Look. Those are the manners that Good a dog boy. needs to have. Well done. Absolutely. Good job. That's fantastic. Absolutely. I'm very proud of you. All right. Practice that over and over and over, and the most important thing is be consistent. Yes. Then I'll catch up with you soon. We'll go through it all again, and I'll see how you've gone along the way. Lovely. Thank you, Laura, so much. <laughs> Come on, boy. We've got to go home now. Let's go. Say bye, Laura. 
Bye. Well, Ziggy hasn't learned to wave just yet. But who knows by the time Laura returns... Oh, my God, he's so cute. Ziggy! Ziggy, you're being a little sh Dog behaviourist Laura is making a return visit to check on the progress of two of her pupils. This must be Ziggy. <laughs> this is Ziggy. This is he. I'm trying to teach him to wait. When they last met... Wait. Dawn was struggling to contain her young cavoodle's enthusiasm for life. Wait. So he didn't do what you asked? No. Were you consistent? Dawn, you're in trouble. Yes, I am. Do it again. <laughs> With help from Laura, she's been learning how to channel some of that energy into an eagerness to learn. Ziggy, you're in control. Sit. That's excellent. Hi, Laura. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Oh, and Ziggy. you? Good to see you. Oh, hello. And you're very excitable. That's good to see. He's still Sit, loving Ziggy. life. Good boy. Good job. Can Good I give him a boy. treat for that? Yes, you can. Good job. Yes. Good man. Well done. It looks like you're getting a little bit Wait. of a handle on him controlling his impulses. Look, he's a lot better. He's good in every aspect, virtually, except when we greet and meet other dogs and people. How about we go to a cafe, get a coffee, and see how we can manage his behaviours and hopefully get some improvement? All right, I'd love to do that. Shall we go? Ziggy, come. And reward him for walking beside you? Come. Good job. And again, Heel, Ziggy. you're a Pez dispenser, remember? Heel. This is what you're doing all the time. Good job. Well done, Dawn. Good boy, look at him walking on leash. With Ziggy making inroads at home, it's time to see if he can keep his calm out in public. Here, would you like oh, to that sit looks just like over a there? Nice table. Oh, good boy. In the sun. After you, ma'am. Thank you. When we're going into an uncontrolled environment, this puts a lot of pressure on pets because they can't control the environment. We need to do that for them. I hope it's not a wobbly table. I oh, know. Don't you hate it when that happens? Hey, Ziggy. Good boy. Look. Dawn loves hanging out at her local cafe, but since getting Ziggy, she's had to cut her latte short. Oh, All right. And it only takes Laura a few moments to see why. Ziggy, Ziggy, sit. Okay, so don't let him pull. Ziggy. Ziggy. Or right, try and bring him back. Ziggy. Control him. Once again, Ziggy's eagerness to make friends has backfired. What happened? What went wrong? He's over-friendly. Does it ever embarrass you when you're with your friends having a coffee when he carries on like that? Yes. How does it make you feel? I just want to go home. Where are you going today? Hello. Oh, hello. Ziggy. Ziggy. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Ziggy, sit. sit. Dawn is still struggling with Ziggy's lack of cafe etiquette. Stay. All right. Stay. Can I get you a coffee? <laughs> Can you get me something harder than that? Yeah. <laughs> 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 really? <laughs> oh, look, I'll, I'll, have a, I'll have a slow latte. What would you like? I'll, I'll have just a... I'll have a coffee, thank you. When you're going out and about, you can't allow your animal to run amok. You need to be able to manage the environment, to control everything so that they can actually do the right thing for you and, and for everyone else around them. Don't be afraid to be a little bit more confident in your training because you have a perpetual three-year-old child here. He's always going to depend on you keeping him safe. Stay. There's no ifs or buts in this world because it is unsafe to let a dog control their environment. That's Stay. when dogs get bitten, that's when people get bitten, that's when bad things happen. It's true. If you can keep him safe and he trusts and respects that, you're going to have a much better behaved dog. Ziggy, get back on his bed. On the bed, sit, stay. Nice. I'm going to be Dawn. Hi, Laura. Nice to meet you. OK. So when she comes back out again, I'm going to show you what our expectation of this dog is. Ah, good boy. Well done. Thank you very much. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay. 
So what I did is as that person was coming to us, I gave him something wonderful, if not better than saying hello to that person, and that's a very high value treats. I, what we call, um, jackpotted him. You know, he just won Tats Lotto. He got way more than he expected. And look at him controlling himself. He wants to go over and say hello, but he's not. He also knows now that if he tries to, I will consistently, 100% of the time, never reinforce it. I'm never going to let it happen. OK, whether that means I have to ask the lovely waitress to stop, if I have to cue him back to his bed, I'm the one in control of this environment, not him. So what I've done is I've made something for you. I've made him a coat that I'm hoping will get the message through to people. So it's like a high-vis jacket Aww. that says, <laughs> I did hand make this, please ignore. So we're going to put that around oh, you here. You are so clever. And that's going to let people know that he's in training, he's in his high-vis, please ignore, we're doing some really hard work here and we need you to cooperate. We kind of need the people to do the seaweeds. We need them to be calm yes. and controlled and cooperative, all right? So would you mind if I pop this on him? Not at all. All right, thank you very much. Can you give him a treat just for letting me do this? Good boy, Ziggy. Nice, well done. Good boy. Beautiful. So that's really clear to people that we really need their help to train him to get better manners. OK, what do you think, Dawn? Good plan? I think that's fantastic. All right, beautiful. The biggest problem for me is teaching people that we don't know what to do. So if they can actually see that they need to ignore the dog, then we can apply some consistency to that training. First in line to ignore Ziggy are Dawn's friend Wendy and her dog Coco. So you need to say stop, be really assertive, <laughs> and get her to stop in position by judging his behaviour. So he, you can see him kind of looking and then he starts to get a bit excited. You need to get her to stop well and truly before he gets like this. All right. OK? All right. Wait, Siggy. Stop. Bring your dog back to you. Well done. That's better. Wait, Ziggy. Wait. Wait. See how he's calm, cooperative, controlled. All right? So you need to practise as a trainer talking to people because this will be the biggest part of your problem. All right? Controlling other people. Now look at him. Go and say hello. Come over. Go Welcome. Hello. Let him say hello. But you just ignore him, Wendy. OK? Beautiful. So what should he get for that? Good boy. You are a good boy. Good well boy. That's good. Behaviour change is difficult, but it's not impossible. And if you are open-minded about training your dog, you can teach them new tricks. You can change their behaviour, but you need to change your behaviour first. This is amazing, having him lie down at a cafe. Beautiful. So, yeah. You have been instrumental in that, so thank you so much. You can go and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye, Dawn. Bye, bye, bye Wendy. Bye, Ziggy. Bye. Coco wants to stay with us, <laughs> where all the good stuff is. Well done, Dawn. Thank That's you, amazing. Laura. Look at this. He's just offered to sit without even being asked. Dawn can once again hold her head up high. I'm not jealous of Coco anymore now. <laughs> just so happy I've got a dog that I can take out, socialise. Well done, Dawn. Brag. <laughs> Shiki. Never work with animals or children. Shiki, come on. <laughs>